Hi guys, welcome back. Um, this is a little video about our AHP flashing kit that you can rent uh, and a very brief video on how to do it. Um, everything is going to be all set up on the laptop as and when you receive it. Um, I will say for anyone else that happens to have just picked up my video because they happen to follow the channel, I've got a couple now, um, you're probably going to be bored because this is about flashing an AHP gearbox um, TCU so that it's compatible with Mac ECU. If you enjoy my subtle Somerset tones, please feel free to carry on watching, but it's it's likely to get dull. Let's get started. When Max ECU first started uh, developing the AHP, uh, we knew we'd have to get hold of the flashing kit. Uh, we tried a couple of other flashing tools that we got. We got PCM flash and stuff, but none of them would do the job. Uh, so we invested in the kit. We initially thought we might be doing a couple here and there, um, but it's got to the point now where we're doing so many um, that we've just got to that point where we should send the kit out because some people aren't comfortable pulling the, the TCU out of the gearbox. Uh, some people just want to upgrade. Maybe they've got binary one, two, three, whatever happens to be on at this point because, of course, this video goes on into the future, hopefully. Um, so, so yeah, we, we've we've got the kit now so that you can, you can go on our website. The link will be in the description down below about where you can do this. Uh, essentially, you pay a deposit, which covers us for the tool, and then you pay an extra amount, and then you get the kit turn up um, with Royal Mail special delivery. So um, we've just tried to make it as simple as we can so that it's as straightforward and not scary because I appreciate that some people ain't used to flashing ECUs. So this probably is something that they don't want to do or, or they're not keen on doing. But ultimately, laptop in the box, the flashing kit, flashing cable, all the charges you need, everything that you're going to need ready to go. And the only software on the laptop is indeed the, the software for flashing your gearbox, all of the binaries are already preloaded onto the ECU, depending on you know which binary is current and which is in beta. Um, they're all on here. We've also got some software so that if you do struggle, you don't want to do it, I can log in remotely and do it for you. Um, so let's get going. Right, okay, so you've got your laptop pa powered up. We've got power to the um, gearbox flashing module, USB cable just in the side, uh, and then we can just plug that into the same side there. There we go, laptop will go bing bing. That'll beep at you. Um, I'll move this back to there. Right, so you'll need to connect to the Wi-Fi. The tool software checks that it's got a relevant license and stuff. So so just come down there, click, and you can connect to your Wi-Fi there. Hopefully, um, you'll find that quite straightforward. Once you've connected, um, you'll see that this yellow cable is just a pair of RJ45s. You can bang that straight in, and again, it's quite straightforward. That's all contained in that little box. Uh, so. Everything you're going to need is on the desktop, so this is the main tool. So we're going to double click that um, and hopefully it won't panic too much. So that dialog box there will hopefully close once it's uh, detected that we're on the internet. Yes, okay. Um, and it's got the tool number there, so everything's connected. It can see it. It's on the Wi-Fi, so we're ready to rock, basically. So, uh, again, I'll try and slow myself down from doing this. I'm so used to it now because we've done so many other things that I just zip through it. So. I will do this slowly. BMW, a new menu will open. We scroll down. EGS, this is basically the transmission controller. So on there, then we get a new list of gearbox stuff that we can do um, relevant to BMW naturally. So we're interested in this one here, the AHP clone. Click there, and then this is the menu. We won't need anything outside of what you can see here. So. What we're going to do initially is identify the TCM, then we're going to make a backup of it, but we're going to read internal flash, then maps, then internal EEPROM. Uh, then once we've got all of those, we've got a complete backup of your module. So first thing we'll do is let's identify the module just to make sure that we've got all the details of it. Please connect the ADCP to 12 volts. We've done that already, there's lights on. Okay, um, and then it's going to hopefully ask us to connect said TCM to said gearbox flashing unit. There we go. Right, so this is clearly, you know, quite fragile, so please be a bit careful. Um, this has got a little cutout here, and there's a cutout on the plastic ring there. It's not easy to see when it's in the gearbox itself, honestly, but once the TCM's on the bench, you can see it. But this is flat, essentially, so you haven't got to start twisting it around too much. The, the tab will be facing down. Um, so just be gentle, little wiggle, 
done. It doesn't need any force. Please don't sort of hammer it in or anything crazy because, you know, we'll, we'll, it'll be busted then and I won't have one. And then you won't get your deposit back. <laughs> right, back to the PC. Please connect ADCP to the gearbox, which we've done that, so continue. Now, hopefully it will now communicate with the TCM uh, and there we go. So it, it's got it's got the details. There's no VIN in this because I happen to have already programmed this with the Max ECU firmware purely. It was just on the bench. I just finished flashing it. I was like, ah, now's a good time to, to do a video about this. So click OK. Identify chip info finished OK. And it's going to just save that. That's like a log file basically. So just whenever that comes up, just click OK. Great stuff. OK, so so far so good right so now we're going to make a backup so we're going to read internal flash click there and then you know again connect the power we know we've done that already connect the acdp to the gearbox we've already done that we know we have i haven't unplugged it so we can continue again um so now it's just going to identify the system again just so that it's sure that it knows what it's got and then okay so we may need to, we may want to take a screenshot of this if you've got something new um that we may you may not have seen i may ask you to screenshot if that's the case then brilliant i mean by all means just photograph it with your camera phone if that's easier than doing a screenshot but you know the screenshot on, button on the pc will work so we've got that info continue now i'm going to fast forward this bit because it takes a minute Okay, so it only takes a couple of minutes in real time, but you know, you don't want to sit there and watch that because I was humming away um, that or watching Time Team, so you don't want to see any of that. So please save internal flash data, so okay. Now, what, I, what you can do is click desktop here. Save all of your files to the desktop, then you know where you've got them, um, you know where your backups are, um, and then I'll deal with it when it gets to our get it when it when the tool comes back to me. So don't worry about filling up the desktop with snot. So again, click desktop, then just click save. Uh, and now it's just retrieving the data from the flash tool, uploading it to the desktop. You can see that the file has already uh, made its appearance there. So right back up chip data finish so we can click OK and then that's the log file again I spoke about a minute ago so when that comes up click OK right so we're going to read the maps in this instance so again it's the same procedure we're going to read the maps we've already connected it to 12 volts we've already connected it to the gearbox so continue uh, what this is doing now is it's going to make a backup of the map area within the flash memory it's still going to come up with like a the same size file as a flash memory, but it just it just contains the memory um, that contains the map data. So don't worry about this too much, but please take a reading, take a backup of it, because you know where you're at. Then you've got the entirety of it on the PC just in case anything goes wrong, and it's just a backup. So you can see it takes much shorter time because we're just reading part of the flash area essentially. Okay, so then we're back in this. Uh, please save the data. So. OK, um, desktop again, so click the desktop and then we can save this file on the desktop too and you'll see that that file then appears down here as well. So again, just retrieving the file. In the, uh, while we're on that note, the latest uh, Max ECU binary files, you don't need to flash the maps data. The first three we needed to flash the maps data separately, but I'll, I'll chat about that in a second, but ultimately just save it there. So back up there, finished. And then we're going to get this log file again. So we can click OK there. And then the final thing to do for the backup is read the internal EEPROM. So again, we've connected it already. We know it's connected and we know it's connected to said TCM. So click continue. Uh, the EEPROM is a, a slightly shorter process because it's a, a much smaller memory area in the EEPROM than the flash. So. It won't take too long. Again, continue. It just does like a check every time um, that it knows what it knows. It's the right um, TCM connected, I guess. There we go. Minutes of work. And again, save the prom data. And we're going to click to the desktop again. And we're going to save it to there. Job done. And then we've got three files now. Okay. And then the log file. Okay. 
easy as that. So we've now got a full backup of your TCM. Great news. Now we get to the fun stuff. So as I was just saying, like previously in previous incarnations of the Max ECU flash for the binaries, uh, for the gearbox, um, we used to have to flash the maps as well. Now currently from, I believe it was um, binary four onwards, we don't have to do that. Um, but it's worth just mental note that if you do get asked to just flash the maps, we can do. But for now, we're going to flash the internal flash. So we click there. Um, again, we've got 12 volts connected to our ACDP machine and we are connected to the gearbox. So continue. Again, it's going to find the system info. Is it an AHP gearbox? Yes, it is. Good news. Continue. Select internal flash data. So this is the current um, binary, which is five. Um, now, again, they are on the desktop. I just happened to have that open. So if you click to the desktop on the binaries, AHP binaries, there is two folders, one which is for the AHP 45 and one which is for the AHP 70 and 90. There are two different firmwares now. Um, so this is a AHP 70. Oh, while I'm on the subject, actually, um, once you've read your flash memory out, which is this one, it's worth noting that the Max ECU firmware is only compatible with the TCMs that have a two and a half megabyte file size for the flash memory. So if you just come over there and you can see that it says size 2.5 meg. If you come over there and it says two, then it's just not compatible, I'm afraid. Um, and you're gonna have to go down the road of, of swapping out the TCM for one that is compatible. There is a list of compatible numbers, which I'm sure you're aware if you've got this far on the Max ECU website that is updated quite regularly with new firmware uh, with new hardware numbers that are compatible. Um, sorry, yeah, back to this. Uh, this is an AHP 70. So double click on that folder because I've put both of the firmwares there. As there becomes um, later versions available, I will include them on the laptop because I just want this to be as simple and as straightforward as we can. Right, these are labeled here, internal flash and EEPROM. So Please don't bugger this up and get these muddled up. That's the flash memory, which is two and a half meg, which I've just talked about. Um, and the EEPROM is much smaller and we will be flashing that afterwards. So let's not touch that for a minute. So internal flash memory is what we want. Don't mess that up. If you clicked flash internal flash memory, click just the flash memory. Right, it's just now uploading that file onto the flash, uh, the mini flash machine. Take a couple of minutes. Once it's happy, um, it's just going to come up with a little box saying, are you sure you want to flash? So, yes, we like flashing. Please keep everything connected whilst you're in the flash process. Make sure that you've got a good, decent power supply. You're not running off a generator or anything crazy. Um, and do not touch the cables whilst we're in this flashing mode. Okay, So make sure that the laptop is plugged in and not running on battery. Make sure that this machine is plugged in um, and make sure that the cables are nice and secure. Continue. So now it's going to start to flash the memory. Okay, dealt with. So um, depending on this one, I've already flashed with the Max ECU um, binary five already. Um, like I say, it just happened to be a, a convenient time to do it because I was flashing this and I thought, oh, that's a good, good time to make this little video. Um, so, okay. Again, it's it saved the log. So don't worry about that, just click OK. Um, so again, as I mentioned, we can ignore writing the maps at this point, certainly with binary five. Um, any different, I'll let you know. Um, so the, the last thing we need to do is write the internal EEPROM. So again, yes, we've got our 12 volts connected. Yes, we've connected it to the gearbox. And then it's gonna ask us to go and find our EEPROM file. Again, um, it's all just in the AHP binary. There we go. Yes, it's, it's an AHP gearbox. Select the internal EEPROM data. Um, again, it, it's opened the same folder as it did last time. But again, if you need to go back, all of the data is on the desktop. But in this case, EEPROM, EEPROM data there. Open. And it's going to make sure, you know, please don't swing this around your head or anything crazy. Everything is connected. I can't stress this enough, though. Please keep all your power supplies nice. Like I say, normally the EEPROM data is a, a far quicker thing to be flashing just because of the memory size.
there we go our TCM is now flashed with the relevant Max ECU software so again it's saved the log and that is done we are ready to go so we can unplug this now again just gently don't have to go crazy and that is a TCM flashed right there we go Max ECU flash is now on our AHP TCM um, thanks for joining us if you are not interested in the AHP stuff or flashing it or the ADCP controller, I can just sincerely apologise for boring the living daylights out of you for the last, I don't know how long this will be, I'd like to think three minutes, but I bet it's like 15. Um, but yeah, again, um, you know, please, if we send this out to you, please try and be, you know, as respectful as you can. I'm not going to keep on, but, you know, ultimately, we're a small business. We do rely on a tool. We've been doing more and more of them. Um, we're kind of hoping people might sort of want to rent it over the weekend. I think three days is a nice time to have the tool. Over the weekend, we won't miss it. I use this weekly. Um, um, and as you can imagine, the weekdays are when I would use it. But ultimately, if we don't get this back when we're supposed to get it back, then it is a pain in the ass for us. Um, we will organise all of the postage, all of the courier. We use Royal Mail special delivery so that it's fully insured because obviously it's a lot of money for us to lose, um, hence why we ask for a, a, a fair deposit. Um, but yeah, ultimately, if you get any issues whatsoever, you know, please just get in touch. Um, we will put my WhatsApp number in the box anyway, so should you encounter any issues or any questions, just pop us an email, pop us a message. You know, um, I think most of my customers you'll find will tell you we're quite responsive um you know we'll always try and respond to any questions we can even if we've not sold the ecu to you uh you know we'll just try and be as 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 positive as we can but you know thanks ever so much for bothering to watch it um and if you are interested in renting it you know and you've got any questions just pop me an email pop us a message failing that link to the website uh yeah thanks ever so much see you again Thank you.